Hi guys, Logan here, and today I'm doing some more amazing grilling. Now, I've gotten out the rotisserie, I'm going to show you what I put on today. Now, this is going to blow your mind. I put on this beautiful cauliflower. Now, this is going to be an amazing presentation. I'm going to do this curry sauce on there. You can start to see, I've got this curry sauce, a little bit of um, just curry powder, butter, a little bit of coconut milk in there. Just really delicious, and I'm going to base that onto the cauliflower which I have right here. Um, now I've just started grilling it so I'm gonna have it on there for a little bit longer trying to soften it up a bit before I add in my sauce. This is gonna be super flavorful. It should be very savory like a perfect um, you know vegetarian alternative on your barbecue. Also I think that the rotisserie should do a great job really cooking it up beautifully adding that nice moistness and that kind of char and that caramelization and that kind of glaziness that you can get when you have a rotisserie and it's constantly circulating in that juices. So I'm gonna close it up. I'll check back with you when we sauce it. And um, this is my Aspire by Heston Grill, my amazing rotisserie machine. So I've got it going and uh, we'll see some action real soon. And I'll catch you guys then. Hey guys, welcome back. So I've had my cauliflower out, out here roasting for like 10 to 20 minutes. And so I think it's time to sauce it up now. So you can see it's changed texture a little bit. It's gotten a little bit more interesting. It's starting to smell really delicious. And so now I'm gonna baste it with my curry, um, butter, um, coconut milk sauce here. And I'm just trying to get it, get it to look really nice, trying to give it that extra bit of color because it looks like it could use a little bit of oil and butter. So that's why I'm adding in the sauce and the amazing flavor that's gonna come with it. Alright, so um, I sauced it up real quick there. I've also added a little bit of oil. You can start to see that it's starting to bubble up. Now, um, I didn't put the sauce on at first because I wanted the cauliflower to be a little dry and to really start to really want that sauce when I put it on there. So it took a couple of times of actually saucing it. You can see where it's just soaked it up. It's just absorbed that sauce and it's just in there. And part of that's from roasting it dry first you know not slapping the sauce on there and waiting the entire time for it to like actually get in there also you can tell of my sauce um, I've used quite a lot of it um, this was like a quarter of a can of coconut milk um, quarter of a cup of butter just kind of just kind of half half there and then like a tablespoon or two of the S&P Oriental Curry um, that's the brand I was using um, this is what I have comes in a little tin. So I have it cooking up here, about a little bit of oil. I'll periodically add some oil as it cooks. You know, I'm expecting this sauce to kind of seep in even more um, as it cooks. I also have the heat up on the highest setting um, on my grill. I'm gonna turn on the lights for you. So, you can just really tell that it's just loving that sauce. And you can tell also from how much is on the bottom here, on the drip pan, um, there isn't a lot down there. So most of my sauce is on my cauliflower, which is what I'm looking for, because that's all that flavor is just soaking in there, getting all juicy and um, just groovy. So um, yeah, I'm gonna close it up and let it cook. And I'll check back with you when we're a lot closer to done. I'm expecting a little bit of char. And uh, yeah, I'll catch you guys then. Hey guys, welcome back. So I'm gonna show you what my finished cauliflower looks like. This is what I'm looking for. This is what I'm gonna call done. You can see there's some beautiful charring on the edges there. It's gonna be really crispy. I've put on some oil. I've really tried to get this really interesting kind of fried, roasted kind of vibe on it. And um, it's really cooked up the stalks great because the oil has drawn that curry flavor and seasoning in. And I've done this because I don't really want it to be a heavy, mushy curry cauliflower. I want something crispier, lighter, um, superior really. Um, so I'm gonna pull it off. This is gonna be a two inch job soon and then I'll Put it on the plate. Oh, I think I'll probably post a photo of how it looks. Anyway, I'll catch you guys on the flip side. Logan out.